today, Greg Yo here. Today we're gonna talk about what we're gonna talk about. Let's talk about appraisals. Yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about. Appraisals. So most people in El Salvador, really since there hasn't been a real estate market for the last 30, 40 years, it's been civil war and gangs, don't really understand appraisals and oftentimes don't even see the need for it. They it's it's kind of like a foreign foreign language. In uh, Spanish, we would call it evaluoso, yeah. And so, appraisals are important. I saw a message come in the other day, and somebody stated, "Hey, make sure you know you you only deal with the bank uh, when it comes to finding properties, so you're protected." And that was kind of funny to me because banks, although they do have certain parameters they need to follow, are not really in the protection business. They're in the making money business. Actually part of the biggest cartels on the planet. And so when it comes to appraisals, uh, you definitely want to have the right guide to find the right appraisers here because there's a, there's a handful of them that are actually licensed, regulated, and have good relationships with the banks, and you know, that are reputable and that we deal with. And uh, so you wanna be careful, right? When it comes to the bank specifically, and them getting the appraisal, so let's say you do get financing for the property, which is not easy to do here. You definitely want the right guide on that. Let's say you do, get financing the bank most of the time 99% of the time is going to do their own appraisal they're gonna have their own appraiser internally or a long-term standing appraiser that they have relationships with and so of course it's in the bank's best interest to appraise the property lower than market value because Essentially, they want to, you know, mitigate their risk. They want to hedge their bets. So, let's say you're going to buy a property that's three hundred thousand dollars, and, uh, you know, you think, let's say, maybe you're working with us, and we find you a hidden gem that's like actually worth four hundred thousand, and and we manage to find it for you for three hundred grand, which we do all the time. We're uh, amazing at finding properties below market value. If you want, if you want to save a hundred grand on a property, probably want to set up a call down below. Uh, we get properties, oftentimes 25% discount below market value. So let's say you find a property for 300 grand, and uh, we negotiate the deal. And let's say we've done all the diligence. You check the title. You've checked to see if there's money owing on the property. You check the National Registry, or we have on your behalf, or one of our legal team uh, members, and we're ready to do a deal, okay? Now, the bank is gonna go in and do their own appraisal, right? And it's, it's oftentimes that the bank will try to appraise the property as low as possible, because ultimately they don't wanna be on the hook for you know, um, more than the property is worth. Let's say property markets drop in value, which, hey, it could happen. It happens every once in a while. Real estate market runs in cycles. I think it's gonna continue to boom here for the next five years. This country is just taking off. Uh, we got five years of Bukele coming. So, I mean, I think, you know, we're heading for a good time, specifically in El Salvador. It's probably a good time to make an acquisition here. But let's say, you know, something uh, catastrophic happens, black swan event, and the market drops by 10, 20, 30%. They don't want to be on the hook for a $300,000 mortgage that is only worth 200 grand now, right? And so they're going to they're going to do their best to send their appraiser in and you know, we've we've heard the horror stories and we've dealt with horror stories and we've we back people up on this and we've we've seen the bank send in appraisers and a, appraise a property 
lower than we know is is market value and then we've gone ahead and sent in our own uh, third-party reputable license uh, real estate professional uh, appraisers and you know they appraise it 10% more and so we go back to the bank and say hey wait a minute you know your, your appraisal says uh, it's it's worth 280 our appraiser says it's worth 340 I mean, uh, how do we get realistic on this? We have to hold the banks accountable. We have to hold the appraisers accountable. And that's part of what we do here, right? That's why uh, you have us on your team to run through walls and protect your best interests, okay? Um, because it's not always sunshine and rainbows here. You really gotta uh, protect your own ass and, and that's what we do. We protect your nalgas. In Spanish okay so um, that's a quick insight on appraisers down here and appraisals and and what the banks are trying to get away with now don't get me wrong things are improving and you know some banks are more ruthless than others and more generous than others and depends on the relationship you have and and all those different circumstances are gonna uh, vary um, what else I was thinking of something else turn the car around Lucy's driving, so I'm. Okay, guys, I gotta go here. I gotta, I, I gotta provide some adult supervision. Okay, we'll see you in the promised land. Greg, you out.